Hello, hello. Good morning, good morning. So, here we have it today. This wonderful, what is it, Thursday? 9 o'clock in the morning. We are filming a short tips and tricks for Palea. So, let's go ahead and get started. Number one, focus on leveling your skills. Okay, it, this is a big deal. You want to level up your skills and not just favor one so don't have one at 17 and the other one at two actually i've been playing for about four days now and i have yet to get one past 10 because it takes a lot of time and a lot of grinding but you'll eventually get there okay so let me show you your skills fishing you go to a and r cooking you go to ref i am neglecting my cooking a little bit i will get there gardening a drew Mining Hodari or Hodari as some tend to call him. Hunting Asian. Bug catching Uni. Forging Ashura. Furniture making Tish. So it tells you your levels and it tells you who you have to go to to get upgrades, to buy things, furniture, whatever. This purple bar right here is focus. You see it also on the top left. That purple bar is focus. Why is focus important? I will tell you what. You'll see actually right now. If you look at the bar while I'm chopping this tree, or after I finish chopping it, and okay, I look at the bar. Okay, it went down a little bit, but barely. You didn't really see it move, but it moved. Same. So what focus does? Focus gives you bonus XP. In whatever it is that you do, you get bonus XP with focus. So any of the six skills, I believe, six, eight skills, any of the eight skills that you do. There we go. That one moved a little bit. You do it. You have focus and boom. Done. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Leveling up your skills is also important just due to the fact. Actually, you know what? While I'm here real quick. Go up to the villagers, chat with them every day as much as you can. Give gifts if you have something they want. You can click down here. They'll tell you what they want. You want to level your relationship. Right now, with him, it's only level one. That's okay. I have others at two. I have some at three. So, you know, you'll get there. Anywho, leveling up your skills is important because of your tools. So right now you see I have the fine pickaxe, the fine axe, but I have the standard bow, the fishing rod, everything else besides the hoe is standard. Okay. I haven't leveled up those skills enough to really upgrade them. I have leveled up hunting enough, but at this point, there is really no point in upgrading the bow further than the starter one. Okay. So the second bow, which is what I have right now, upgrade it, keep it. There's really no point upgrading it as of right now all right now let's talk about the important things let's talk about money that's money dollar dollar bills how do you make it there's a few different ways to make it hello luck like spike death metal, you're fine. <laughs> so now, one way bug yes, catching yes. second way fishing third way mining hunting did i say hunting i don't know hunting wood cutting whatever you can make money all of these ways however do not waste your wood or your ore or your rocks on money. It is trash money and you're going to need your resources. Okay. So hunting, hunting is huge. You hunt for about an hour. You'll make roughly three to four K you want to hunt. Hunting is huge. And I will show you a great spot for hunting that will make you money. Dollar dollar bills. So you see me talking to some of the locals. How about the locals? Talk to them. Get quests from them. It will reward you. It will. Trust me. It'll be huge. You will get money. Lots of money from them. Sometimes you'll get 300 gold. Sometimes 500. Sometimes 200. Not always though. Not always. Sometimes they'll give you nothing. Sometimes they'll give you recipes. Sometimes they'll give you food. Sometimes they'll give you cool items for your house. Sometimes again, you will get nothing and that's completely fine. Okay. Now let me go show you. That's a bug. Let me go show you some places for hunting while I do that fast travel locations, use them. They don't cost much. 
50 gold, 20 gold, 25, 10, use them. Okay, instead of running from A to B, use your fast travel locations. So, fast travel right here. The little horseshoe. There's one. There's another one right here. Another one over here. And I believe that's it for this. Nope, up here. Now, whenever you go to Bahari Bay, there's about seven of them. Use them. It is so helpful. Okay, you're gonna want to use them. Now, what is this? Copper? It's copper. Okay, so while I'm doing this though, let's talk about focus again. Focus is on your top left. You start off with like a hundred focus. It's garbage. So you might be like, well, how do I upgrade my focus? What do I do? Here's what you do. You're renowned. You get renowned every time you talk to someone, help someone, do something for someone, give someone a gift, do a quest for someone, whatever. You get renowned. Renown is this. Where is it? Renown is up here. Okay. Caps at 1,000 renown. All right. I don't know what this is. Oh, Pally coins. I don't have any because I use them every time I get them. So, renown. You go, what you do. And I don't want, I really don't want to waste renown right now or use it. But I will, just to show you, what you do is you go to a dragon shrine. You hit the letter F. You commune. And it'll give you renown. Except I'm not going to do it right now. Because I am saving my renown for other things. You use renown as well to buy expansions for your home. That way you get more land, you get more plot, you can do more things. Also, speaking of homes, it's a great way to get resources. If you're low on resources, go to your home. There's a lot of trees, a lot of rocks, a lot of everything. Go to your home. Take advantage of the fact that there's so many resources there. All right, so this is typically a pretty good spot. Let me show you on the map where I am. Typically what I do is I'll go right here. If there's nothing there. I'll start making my way down here. Go all through this right here. All of this, typically a lot of stuff to hunt. Make your way across and go back up. And then you go back and start again. And typically at that point, everything has already respawned. So you, you're good. Okay, there's nothing here. I wonder if someone's already been here because typically... Typically, this is pretty full. Mushroom. Okay, so there's one. Now, if they are close to each other. Oof, nice. 60 renown for that. Let's go. If they are too close to each other, then you will cause them to run away when you shoot when the others will run. I'll give you an example in just a moment. That one's about to take off. Okay, now hunting is not that hard. You just got to get your aim right. Sometimes you got to aim a little bit higher than you thought you would have to. And it'll work. This is a typical fishing spot. There's no... Oh, there's one over there. You can see the little fish pool and them jumping around. Ah, come on. Oh, there. Oh, he's bug catching. She is hunting. Okay, so this is a great spot for hunting. Everything you get from hunting sells for a lot. At the beginning, sell everything. So everything you get from hunting. Eventually, though, you will want to start collecting hides and horns, antlers, whatever. You're going to want to start collecting those because you will be using them in crafting later on. So don't sell everything. I mean, sell everything, but keep some of it because you will be needing it. All right. Speaking of, we're actually at a really, really good spot for me to show you what I wanted to show you. Yeah, I'll do this hunting later. Okay. So, see right here? Fisherman's Lagoon. Go down the coast. Remember, it's beach all the way up here. Go all the way up here to Gillifin. You're going to find clay. Clay is hard to come by. All right. It's actually not hard to come by, but a lot of people farm it because you use it a lot during upgrades during building stuff to upgrade tools at times you will use it a lot so keep your clay these lotuses are good money you will need them later now right now there's clay right there already switched to my pickaxe but this is what it looks like i would zoom in but i can't if i zoom in this is all that happens 
So no zooming in is actually allowed. All right, so let me show you very quickly. I'm gonna stop mining the clay. I just want to show you where to get it. So you go down, hopefully there's a lot of clay so I can give you a good example. Okay, so we already mined two. Here's a third. This is some moss. Collect the moss, you're gonna need it. So that's three. This is four. If I were to be mining that right now, that would be number four. And now your glider, by the way, your glider, you will get eventually. You'll probably get it within the first hour and a half, two hours of playing, you will get your glider. All right, so there's four. Haven't found a fifth one yet. Typically there's a few here. There's some copper. Moss I will collect. Hello? Okay, I'm assuming she got the clay that's typically all over this. So there should have been about three or four more veins of clay. So we should have been at about seven or eight by now. Oh, this is a great spot, by the way. If you need the, these flowers, I forget what they're called. Ah, uh, what are they called? They're lilies, sundrop lilies. If you need sundrop lilies, this is a great, great place. Let me show you on the map right here. Okay, now there's typically at least one or two here. I'm gonna drown for this. I did not drown, but almost did. So by now we should have been roughly at 10. There's more copper that you can get on your way here. Okay, then you go back down this way. You could drop here. I wouldn't though. You're gonna drown, die. Very painful death. Um. Okay, go down here to the coast. Now here, there's typically about five to eight rocks. If no one's collecting that guy, yep, he's collecting them. So all down here, they're usually pretty close together. There should be a ton of clay down here, but it looks like whoever that was already collected it all. What other tips can I give you? Oh. If you see a purple tree, which we have not seen one yet, you see a purple glowing tree, those are flow trees. They take more than one person to cut. So what you're gonna wanna do, put in general chat, hey, find a flow tree, this is where I found it, and people will begin flocking to you. All right, once you have a few people, three or four people, start chopping. Make sure everyone's ready though. You don't wanna jip anyone out of flow trees. Now, what's the point of flow trees? Flow trees, you will use later to upgrade to some really, really, really nice things. Okay. Now, I think that's pretty much it. Let me go home, show you how fast travel works. Go home. I'll show you a few things at the house. And then after that, we will be done. This will take a minute to load. Just bear with me. There, It's, it's about to go into open beta. Uh, the day this uploads, it will be an open. No. Yeah, it should be an open beta. The, the day this uploads, they said the 10th, they should be uploading on the 10th. So now I'm not sure what time. Oh yes. 1800 gold. So another thing, gold, whenever you sell stuff, you sell it here. Okay. Example, I'm gonna put these away in my storage flowers, lilies. Okay. 20 gold for those 85 for that total. 189, 318, 358, keeping this, keeping this, keeping this, keeping this. All right, so in 22 minutes, I'll get another 358. Now, to collect that, you do have to come home. You do have to come home. Now, this is my plot right now. When you start off, you usually get like a little square right here, and then you can expand everything else around it. To expand it, you go to mayor's office, talk to the daughter, you use your renown, you buy. Uh, you buy some slots, easy peasy. These chests are worthless and useless. I'm using them for decoration though. These are chests that you will find randomly around the map or you can collect while fishing. Here we have for wood, crafting table, smelting, making light bulbs, glass. Actually, let me repair my tools real quick. Storage, this is what it looks like. Pretty much it, right now I have 3,200 cap. I have eight storage boxes. That is the most you can have. I have the smallest ones you can have because the big ones are 25K each and ain't nobody got time for that. 
Can I harvest all this? Oh, I can. So typically, oh no, I can't. See, I have OCD. I have to harvest them all together to let me water you. And then tomorrow I'll harvest all of these. But you just press F and then it'll jump into your inventory. But yeah, I mean, that's about it. Everything you see here, the house, everything that's out and about, I crafted, you can craft everything that's here. You can craft, there's a lot of things that I haven't crafted. There's a lot of things I have crafted, but I got rid of them. So whenever you craft something, let me see if I can give you an example, maybe. Um, maybe. Whenever you craft something, it doesn't have a check mark. It will let you unlock something new. If it does have a check mark and you craft it, you're just crafting it. You don't get anything out of it. I mean, you do kind of, but not really. Can I craft you? No. Oh, uh, ready to craft. I'm trying to find something that says ready to craft that I haven't. Okay. I'm not going to get anything for the log cabin small torch though, because I already have all the log cabin stuff. But you craft something, then you can have a little pop-up. It'll be three grayed out items. You decide what it is that you want to do. Cooking. Cooking is super, super simple in this game. It is not rocket science. So you go here. Cook. Let's do vegetable soup. All right. So you start. Now you got to prep. Keep in mind, you will be receiving a guide. Once you start doing this the first time, it will give you a guide. Telling you exactly how to do each thing individually. And now we begin stirring. And we're done. Cooking is super simple. Now you want to always cook food. You want to keep up with cooking food. And I will tell you why. For this reason. Look at my renown up top. I have the food selected. Right click. Or my focus I mean. Now my focus is back up. So you want to make sure that you are cooking. Keep your focus up. Keep that bonus XP going don't need that so i'll keep that right there all right i believe that's pretty much it all of this is full of trees but i cut them down i am full of a lot more rocks but i cut them down because eventually i'm gonna expand and i'm gonna have all of this expanded just not right now so but yeah i believe that's pretty much it if this was helpful to you in any way shape or form if you are new to paleo Please use my referral link if you have not signed up yet. And if you have, that's okay. But if you haven't, use the referral link. You get stuff, I get stuff. It worked out for everybody. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it.